tweening in Roblox Studio is for changing something with a transition. Basically, I'll show tweening on parts and GUI objects. Here is an example code showing how it works. You need to get the tween service first, with get service function. I created a function for creating and playing the tween, that's what I do, while using this service in my projects. You can return the tween object, if you lose it later. First line is for creating a new tween info object from tween info class. This is the tween's data. It has some parameters. First one is tween's duration in seconds. Easing style is animation of the tween. You can see the difference between each easing style on the screen right now. Easing direction is where will the animation be. If you type an out, your easing style will show up on the starting and the ending of your tween. This one is repeat count. If you type math.huge, it will be infinite. This true bool is for reverses. Typing true will enable reverses. I'll show how it makes things different. And 3 is the time between each loop. Next one is our tween. We create it with create function of tween service. First parameter needs to be an object, in this case, it will be a part. Tween will happen on this part. Second one needs to be a tween info object, I already created it so it's ready. Last one is the property you will change. You need to put it like this. It needs to be like this. You can change multiple properties in one tween. All of these values can be changed with tween service. If we run the game, you'll see that it's changing size and color with an animation. It looks a bit weird, because of the in out and easing direction. Let's see the difference between easing styles in this part. I'll change these two and it'll look so different now. It has a different animation now. If you just type linear, it won't have an animation. Easing direction doesn't matter here. You can also use it with GUIs. It is very important for GUI designs. So this animation looks weird. What we need to do is change the easing direction. This is how it looks without reverses. Object browser lets you see all functions, properties, and events of an object. We can also see what other things a tween has. You can pause, or cancel a tween. We also have an event for tween completed. It's really useful. Cancel and pause is different. If you play that animation with play function, it will start from beginning values. That was it for this video. Hope you understood. See you in another one.